Emergency order. Defeat the Metroid of the planet Zebeth and destroy the Mother Brain, the Mechanical Life Vein Galaxy Federation Police. The Mechanical Life Vein. Is that what Mother Brain is? I guess. Uh. Hey guys, it is Mech. Welcome to my very first playthrough of the original Metroid. Uh, see. Super Metroid is one of my favorite games of all time, and Metroid Dread just came out, and I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, so, I thought it would be fun to come back to the the very beginning of the series and, like, see how it becomes the game, the games that I love. Uh, and full disclosure... Me getting into Metroid past Super Metroid is a very, uh, a recent occurrence. Because, let me, let me paint a picture. Uh, I played Super Metroid back on the Super Nintendo, of course, and ever since I was, like, very young, and I love that game. I know it front to back. It's one of my favorites of all time. Um, we also had Metroid 2 on the Game Boy, but I only played a little of it at the time, but I couldn't figure it out when I was really young. So I, like, shelved it for years. And then the next one I played was Other M, which is the controversial one. And then finally, when, like, Metroid 2 was getting a remake, I decided, okay, let's go back and play it. And then I did, and I enjoyed it a lot, and then I played the remake, and I enjoyed that a lot, too. So, uh, I haven't played this one. It's Remake Zero Mission, Fusion, or any of the Prime games. I've played a little bit of Prime Hunters on the DS, but that went missing, and I don't know where that went. Um, so I thought... It would be very fun to go back and play all the ones I skipped over and just, you know, see see all my, my first thoughts and the things like that. And one last thing, if you're curious of how I'm playing on it, uh, playing this, original hardware, baby, because I'm a filthy purist like that. I could have picked the Switch Online version and... In a lot of ways, that would be easier, because save states and rewinds and all that. But, I like owning my games, so I went and got it for the NES, and that's where I am now. So, uh, anyway, enough rambling. Let's get started. Right into it, huh? Here we are! Wow, our beam does not shoot very far right now. I'm assuming that'll get upgraded. If not, this is gonna be very, uh, very difficult to start off with. These guys, I know they... Oh, they explode like that then, now, huh? So we get a chance to kill them while they're on the ground before. I notice there's no, like, crouch, so shooting these guys at your feet uh, is going to be very difficult. And we started with not a lot of energy as well. Yeah. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna turn around, because this looks very... Oh, hello! <laughs> Almost got hit going through doors, so that would be very uh, unfortunate. This looks very familiar to an area in Super Metroid, so... Yeah. Alright, so this would be the Morph Ball, yeah? Okay. I would like energy, please. Having 40 right now is, uh... Well, that sucks. Yeah, Morph Ball. Okay, so that also means that, like... Mother Brain must be, like, above us, because in Super Metroid, you come down here after going through Old Torian, where you fight, or were assumedly, assumedly, is that a word? Where presumably you fight Metroid in this game. So, 
like, map-wise in relation to us, Mother Brain must be, like, right up there. I keep dropping my jump really easy, I notice. My cat is meowing from outside the room. River, that is my seat. Alright, let's get back to it. We have a cat in our lap, we're ready to go. Our max health is probably 99 at, as of right now, it's just and to go down there. We're gonna need bombs, because we can't shoot downwards, it looks like, because we can't duck or anything, and no shoulder buttons means no aiming. And I know this is also gonna be a lot harder to navigate than Super Metroid, because the areas seem uh, less distinct. And, uh, there's no map, so I might have to just try and keep my own, like, in between videos or something, or in between recordings, if I do multiple recording sessions, I don't know how long this game is. I could probably just keep my own map and, like, keep that updated. And yeah, there were, this was originally where some missiles were, were but it seems there is, I need to stop dropping my jump. Gotta hold, hold that A button. Oh, these guys suck. <laughs> Me trying to duck? Oh god. Hey guys, there we go. Oh, you have a lot of health then. Come on. And you don't even drop energy for me. How just rude. And these guys probably can't be killed at all. Yeah, no, didn't think so. Oh, nothing here. But the map, the, the screen scrolls down all the way here. So I figure maybe once we get bombs or if power bombs are in this game or something, maybe we can go down there. But I'm not just going to assume that. The only thing I'm going to assume is that we get missiles and bombs at some point. But other than that, I don't know what upgrades are gonna be in this game. I can't imagine, like, the speed booster would be in it. The power bombs might not. Can I get this? Yes! The power bombs might not because... I feel like that might be a bit hard to program, but maybe not. We'll see. Great, I can't duck, so I gotta kill him like that. Yep. Doing all right, energy-wise. Hey, bud. But yeah, I know a lot of people at this point recommend Zero Mission above the original, which makes complete sense, because Zero Mission is, like, just a completely, basically a new game with the same world, inspired more, like, by Super Metroid game design, so, like, I can understand why that would be the preferred one, but I want to play both, I think, and, yeah, it looks like we max out at 99 at this point. I want to play both, and I like being able to see... If I'm playing a remake, I like being able to see where the game came from, which is why I played when uh, Samus Returns came out. That's why I played Metroid 2. Uh, do we want to go right or continue up here? I'll continue up for now and see where that gets me. River just sneezed. That's my cat. Uh, I should continue up, but I'm just going to hold to the left for now. Ooh. This is, uh... The special area music. Hey, guys, there's a... You guys do a lot of damage. Oh, a red one. That's going to be terrifying, especially when it's crawling on the ground like that and I can't even damage it. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, I must need a missile for that. Okay, so we can't continue this way. I'm just not even going to bother. So enemies 
respawn if you just scroll them off then. You don't need to leave the room or anything, they just come back. Good to know. Okay. So we need presumably missiles, but it was more orange than red, so maybe maybe super missiles or power bombs, because orange was power bombs and super metroid. It's gonna be impossible for me to oh, here's the top of the room. It's gonna be impossible for me to not compare it to Super Metroid at some parts because Again, I'm playing this because I want to see where the game I love came from in the first place, and Super Metroid was my first, and I know it a lot. I've played it a great many of times over the years, and like any time there's like a family gathering. Oh, ooh, that's going to be intimidating to cross, and I do it. Pretty much first go. Oh, the return journey is gonna suck. Alright, I definitely feel like this is probably way ahead of... Yeah. I'm way ahead of schedule coming back here. Well, if this is... If I was right, and then uh, Torian is just above where I started, then this might be, like, the way to Mother Brain, then. So it would make sense that... Oh, God. It would make sense that the things up here would be more uh, threatening because I'm not meant to come through here yet. Yeah, just... They're here, so may as well take advantage of the respawning enemies to increase my energy. Come on. Yep. That's not what I wanted to do. Hey guys. Man, I can't I can't get my energy back to 99 if I keep running into you. You know you want to drop energy. You want to drop energy for me so bad. Come on, one more. Perfect. I could just run past these guys, but I don't remember if they're this guy blinking in and out as I phase by him. Ow, very rude. If you're gonna hurt me, at least drop me some energy, jeez. And there was a roof up here, right? Yeah. Well, it looks like our only option is that door we saw uh, on the right on our way up. So this is where we must go. <laughs> We're yellow now! Who boy, let's... Descend first, I think. Descending's easier than ascending, so we can check what's above us later. Much easier to fall than it is to rise. That said, it's also much easier to take damage while falling, because you can just land on enemies without even seeing that they're there. Well, here's our stop. Good thing they don't explode super far. Ah, another one of these, huh? What is... is this? This must be lava. And then here would be our missiles. We have five of those. How do I... Ah, by pressing select. Okay, and we change color very subtly in order to indicate we're using missiles. Uh, I'm pretty sure doors take five to open, unless that's different, so... Let's jump over that then. So I want to make sure we are actually properly stocked up and equipped. I also don't want to be killed by everything here. This is a very dangerous room. Basically as dangerous as the one that presumably leads to Mother Brain. Uh, and we don't even need missiles to get to the end.
Ooh, this must lead me to a different area. Okay, that might lead me down. We'd be in, we'd be in Brinstar right now, wouldn't we? So would that lead me to Norfair or maybe to Kraid? Uh, you know what? Rather than go all the way back through this mess, let's just carry on. We can explore up that, that, uh... What is the word I'm looking for? Shaft? Later. Yeah, this is... This is Norfair. I recognize these bubbles. Uh, we'll go left first. Do we take heat damage in this game at all? I'm not moving out of this doorway until you are deceased, my friend. I'm surprised nothing, like, popped out of that. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. <laughs> mm, this, uh, this feels very dangerous. You know what? I'm going to return. Ooh, I could grind that one for health. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna go through there just yet. That feels very dangerous and just way out of my capabilities for now. Norfair just feels out of my capabilities for now. I'm gonna be honest, uh, and not to be a goddamn coward, but also I'm gonna be a coward and actually explore up that Shaft. <laughs> I don't know what else, what other word to use. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, River, do not lay down on that. Ugh. There we go. So yeah, we'll, we'll make our way through this monstrosity instead again. Not gonna do that if I keep taking damage. Come on, little buddy. Missiles is not what I need, uh, believe it or not. I don't want to be in the middle of this. Ooh, don't lock me in. Jeez. All right. Let's just grind off this guy for a little bit. I've no intention of launching myself into the drink without a good chunk of health. Part of me wants to just go like, okay, we'll cut it off at 50 or something. But the smart part of me is like, no, don't be impatient. Get up to 99, you coward. Um, and I'm gonna listen to the smart half of my brain, even though this guy refuses to drop me energy. <laughs> and when he does, he only drops five at a time. Or missiles that I don't need. This was before the innovation in Super Metroid, where they don't drop you things you don't need, I see. Alright, we're topped off. Let's, uh, send ourselves right into the drink. Alright, let's go. No way, buddy. Right, another one of these guys. I love taking more damage trying to get the health. I think that's very, very sexy, very funny of me. Well, back out here. So we know bottom of this chamber is Norfair. So now we need to know what is at the top. What's in here? OK. 
Okay, that's still lava at the bottom. Can I make this jump? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Asshole! Turning around right at the very end, huh? That poor bastard down there. I, uh, do not envy him. Do these blocks break? Yes, they do. Not that that's necessary for me at the moment, because I can just jump over them. But that's good knowledge. Man, this guy is carrying me to space. Jump button, now it's not the time to eat my inputs! <laughs> not while I'm trying to get out of the, the lava! I wish I could shoot down. Oh! Pog! Uh, let's just not even screw with that guy and get ourselves an energy tank. Now does that heal us automatically? Good. <laughs> These guys really just do carry us away, huh? <laughs> are you... Are you serious? <laughs> Spawning just off screen to just screw me over. The return journey here is going to be an endeavor for sure cuz this is just one long hallway of the same the same things which like it's going to happen it is a metroid nes we are in a completely ooh the bottom of a completely new i wonder what's making it eat my jumps It's probably my own controller I'm using. Where I'm pressing on it, or like how I'm shifting my button press. Yeah. Hold on. Alright, yeah, this feels... This feels a lot better. So we ride. We continue on. We remain undaunted. Except very daunted, because NES games are very threatening and notoriously unforgiving at times, but... That is the nature of the beast. What's in here? Oh, another one of these rooms, huh? Come on. Jump this way. Gotcha! Get back here. Ascend, you- <laughs> I hate that these guys can crawl along the floor. I don't like it. Die. And give me my missiles back. I'm just gonna keep my missiles out. They just seem to be... The best... Idea for defeating enemies. And I can't wait till there's a missile door just above me that I can't do anything about. Alright, so the orange ones... The orange ones are missile doors. What's this get me? Is this bombs? Is it bombs? It is bombs! And I presume I can go through here? Yeah. No reason to go through there, though. But I can, and that's what's important. 
Actually, you know what? I think... Ow. <laughs> you should not be able to hurt me as I'm walking through doors. But yeah, you know what? Now that we have our bombs, I think this is as good a place as any to stop for now. So, thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I am Ball now. Next time, we will figure out what to do with these bombs. I could head all the way back to the start and descend from there, or I could just keep exploring here. Wherever I go, wherever we go, we go. But anyway, see you then. Have a fantastic day, all right?